We're all being encouraged to reduce our carbon emissions and now the growing green movement is changing the way we holiday. This summer on the south coast, holidays with a low carbon footprint are in vogue. It's a slow and at times challenging way to get about. But the south coast is becoming a mecca for paddlers of all ages. The big thing down here uh, is kayaking. Kayaking has gone through a major surge. Not particularly comfortable in the sea when I started, so it's a challenge of getting comfortable. This summer there's a new type of watercraft doing the rounds. Glass-bottomed sea kayaks are proving popular to view the rich marine life. I think it's something that appeals to a lot of people as they get a little older because uh, the limbs start to give out and the other adventure sports like the skiing and the bushwalking get a bit hard on the joints. On the south coast, one in five people work in the tourism industry. Last year, visitors spent $420 million, an increase of 16%. This year, the industry says environmental awareness is driving the surge in popularity of kayaking, surfing and mountain biking. I think that the carbon footprint factor has a lot to do with it. Visitors today are looking to be responsible in their, in their approach to holidays and to tourism. The commercial fishing industry was once the backbone of the region's economy. Businesses say new marine protection is helping to foster ecotourism. With the new Batemans Marine Park here, we've got uh, a lot of areas that are sanctuary zones and no more commercial fishing. So I think that there's real potential. The population on the coast quadruples each summer, but there are few green alternatives to the highway gridlock. Adrian Francis, ABC News, South Coast, New South Wales.